Welcome back, students of history. You are here to read a small passage on the Virginia House of Burgesses. I, Mr. Land, your guide, am going to read that passage with you right now. So let's take a look. There's a great picture of the Burgess House from a rendered drawing and a famous painting showing Mr. Patrick Henry, the Virginian. So let's go ahead and just kind of fast forward here to the passage. And I will begin reading, and you can follow along on the screen or on your paper. Here we go. As the settlement of Jamestown, located in the colony of Virginia, became more successful and profitable, the plantation owners wanted to have greater influence in the decision-making of their homes. To help guide the many voices in this popular southern colony was a man appointed to the job of governor of the settlement named George Yeardley. Yeardley's primary goal was to establish law and order, set up courts to settle problems, and to be the leader of a new group of elected officials called Burgesses. These representatives would be voted on and chosen by the people of the settlements around Jamestown. This new assembly of Burgesses would represent the will, quote unquote, or voice of the people. The place where this group of men would work was to be called a legislature and was named the House of Burgesses, located in famous Jamestown. This building would become a place of representative government for regular citizens who wanted nothing more than to have the same rights as their fellow Englishmen back in Great Britain. This house, quote unquote, was hugely important as it would become the first model example of a legislature in the new world and would also be seen as an example of democracy to a brand new country. Citizens could now decide their futures by electing their representatives in this democracy. The new world was now becoming America and stepping away from its creation as a small colony. All right, kids. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in class. All right.